right, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome in. Guess what? We're here at the Shell waiting to get fuel here. There's a school bus here in front of me getting diesel too. And I'm going to need both of these pumps to uh, be able to fill her up all the way. But uh, hey, we got us a weird kind of load. This is hazmat material. So this is so bad that I actually need me one of these called spill kit. You guys see that? Yeah, apparently I need one of these uh, just to be hauling this load. Just gonna put it away over there. I just have it there in the passenger seat over there or in front of the passenger seat. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get some fuel over here. And it's so strict with this load up here. It actually says that I cannot stop in Manitoba for more than 45 minutes. Can you believe that? Like that's how dangerous this stuff is. And I'm supposed to be hauling it. And it's a really heavy load too, it's supposed to be 45,000 pounds, so yeah, needless to say, I'm not super excited, but what can I say, right? But anyways, the school bus just got finished fueling here, so I gotta pull up and uh, fuel up myself. So I've all come into the show, guys, stick around for the rest of the day and see what kind of goodies we will be up to. See what kind of fun we will have with this load, right? Wish me luck. I have just finished getting my uh, load. Yeah, and uh, dispatch told me yesterday already it's a possible possibility that I would just be doing a trailer switch here. And that's exactly what it was. Yes, indeed. I got here. Trailer is all ready to go. Did our trailer switch. Now I am going to go back to Winnipeg and uh, go ahead and scale this load. According to the customer, it's 45,000 pounds, but uh, I know from another driver that was here a couple of weeks ago, he, uh, he had to go back and get one pallet taken off. His load was actually a thousand pounds too heavy on the gross, so uh, yeah, I'm kinda Keep to the right on McPhillips Road. going to take the safety uh, safety way first right I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I do scale it as well I'm not gonna risk it and uh, find out later that it's too heavy right yeah oh well we are going to Toronto with this load so that is nice I don't know if I already said that on video or not but hey we are going to go to Toronto and it is a hazmat load so we got black cards on. Yeah, and uh, the one black card holder here on the uh, passenger side wasn't. Uh, it doesn't have that little lever on top there where you can that presses against the uh, metal there to hold the black card in place. Both of them are broken, so uh, I don't know how long they're going to stay in there. We got two extra, but. Uh, I don't know, I don't really like it, but what can I do? I'm gonna keep an eye on it, make sure we don't lose it. If I do lose it, I have to come up with something else. I'll have to figure something out to see if I can keep it in there. Cause that sucks having that lever missing. But what I did do is I took a piece of wood and I pushed it in between there so that the placard is pushed against uh, against the piece of metal there or whatever you want to call it so hopefully that will hold it in place I really hope so but yeah other than that we're just gonna go ahead and get this load scaled out and if it works if we're legal and we'll be on our way towards Toronto yes indeed alrighty guys I had to come back over here to Penner's here in Steinbach because uh, my ABS light, uh, all of a sudden when I was driving down the road, I, I hit a bit of a bump or whatever, and it came on. So uh, I had to come in here and get it fixed. So they had to change two sensors. The first they changed the center, uh, sensor on this side and the rear axle, that still didn't fix it. And so then he uh, was testing the other sensor on the other side, and so it was that one. That one looked better than the one on this side, but Anyways, he had to change that. And then I was gonna show you guys on this side of the trailer up here. There's a uh, 
the placard holders, right? And uh, I'm gonna show you here in a minute. Uh, they put brand new ones on here. Yes, indeed, let's take a look. Brand spanking new ones, and these things were broken off. This is what holds it in place, right? You put it like that, you see right here? They were, both of these, both of these were all broken off on these, the old ones. So, uh, I don't know why the other guy never reported it, but I uh, guess he never did. So when I picked up this load, went to go put on the placards there, I had to basically shove a piece of wood or whatever behind there for it to be able to stay in there. So anyways, uh, the wife said she's gonna come pick me up now. I'm gonna go walk over there to the gate and then uh, wait for her. I'll probably go home for a few minutes. Hey, look at who's here. <laughs> yeah. Park. That's my buddy Todd over there. The one that you guys probably saw at the uh, truckers gathering last year. He's, uh, he just got home. So he's going to be home for the rest of the week. Because he has some family things that he's got to take care of. But let's take a look and see if he knows how to back into a spot over here. And then we're going to have a talk with him. Yeah. It says this trailer needs tire work. So I guess they don't want you to take it. But... Anyways, looks like he's doing a pretty good job at backing in here. So uh, once he's finished backing her in here, we'll go have a good chat with him. Yeah, looks like he's got some experience. Like he always says, he's got 30 years experience, he always says. So, yeah. Hey guys, guess what? Here we are at home with the family. Yeah, look at that girl over there. She's trying to sneak over there. Yeah that guy over there <laughs> that lady over there just cooked us a really nice stew look at that yeah and we have some leftover cake from yesterday Ooh, that's gonna be real good so i decided you know we just finished getting our trailer fixed and all that i go home and have supper with the family and then get out get back on the road and give it another shot right <laughs> Supposedly I can't leave the or I can't stay in Manitoba for very long. So I gotta go back at it again guys back on the road Yeah, we still have a little bit of an ice drizzle going on, but Nothing I can do about that I gotta get back in the groove get back on the road Got our ABS light and all that stuff fixed as we showed you guys went home and quickly had supper with the family and here we are back at it again we have to man we want to get some miles we have to right so let's uh, get on out of town and see how the roads are going to be hopefully it's not going to be too slippery since we do have a light drizzle ice drizzle or whatever you want to call it at least that's what it seems to me like. We'll try and get into Ontario somewhere yet tonight. Call it a day, right? That's it, guys. We are done for today. Yes, indeed. Actually, it's the next morning already. Uh, we made it up to uh, Ignis, Ontario. Yes, indeed. Somebody said the other day, uh, why don't you mention in the morning where you at? Well, I'm already mentioning here where I'm at on this day's video, right? So, if you watch every day's video, you would always know where I'm at. Well, I guess some people just don't see it that way, I guess. But anyways, uh, we are done for today. And uh, yeah, we did okay though, with, even with all the troubles that we had, like had to go into Winnipeg, scale it and you know and then uh apparently in manitoba we were only allowed to stay for 45 minutes <laughs> uh, or park somewhere for 45 minutes i guess i should say and so then uh i just quickly had me a quizno sandwich there in winnipeg and then on my way from winnipeg uh starting to head towards toronto my abs like kicked in on the trailer right so that's why you saw the clip there uh that I went to the yard and got my ABS light fixed and uh, she also saw the uh, placard holders got replaced as well. So 
then uh, I uh, called the wife right away and uh, told her about it and she said ah, let's cook a stew real quick and have supper together so we did that and then here I am in Agnes Ontario yeah so I hope you enjoyed today's vlog it was all over the map but hey today's vlog was different so with that being said I appreciate you guys watching and we will be back tomorrow morning so come out and uh, come back tomorrow and uh, check out what we're up to tomorrow so with that being said, we'll see you on the next one.